This video is about combining multiple layers in a single plot using ggplot. And so far, we've seen that ggplot graphs start with the ggplot function. And then they're made up of a combination of information on the data, which is the data frame uh, that we want to work with, acacia in this case. Then the mapping of the parts of the data frame to the parts of the graph. And we do that using an aesthetic, where we say, in this case, x is equal to circ and y is equal to height, because we're plotting circumference against the height. And then finally, we add to this a geometric object to represent the data. And so far, we've used geome point, but if we type geome underscore and then press tab, we'll see that there are lots of different kinds of geometric objects to make things like bar plots and box plots and all sorts of things. And so far, we've only used one layer at a time. And in particular, we we've used geome point. And if we run this, uh, we get the same graph that we've made before. But we can also combine multiple layers on a single plot to provide more complex representations of the data. And to do that, we can add another plus here to add a new component to the graph, a new layer to the graph. And then we can add another geome. And so let's add, in this case, geome smooth. Geome smooth fits a variety of different lines through the data to give us a general feel for uh, how the data as a whole is behaving. If we just use geom smooth, we'll get a smoother, either a low S or a GAM, but we can also change uh, what that looks like using method. And so let's go ahead and say method is equal to LM, and that will fit a simple linear model, that's what LM stands for, to the data, and add it to our graph. And so now we can see that both the geome point layer and the geome smooth layer are presented. The order in which we write them determines the order in which they are plotted on the graph. So geome point is first, and then geome smooth is on top of that. That's why you can see that the line is sitting on top of the points. And it's also important to note that both of these layers are using this information from the main ggplot function. So this is setting the data and the mapping for both geome point and geome smooth, since we haven't provided them with any alternative information. They use this data and mapping. And what that means is that if we then group this information in some way, those groups will also apply to the model lines. And so let's move mapping down on its own line to give us some space and then add color is equal to treatment like we've done before. And now if we run this, we'll see that because color equals to treat equals treatment applies to both geome point and geome smooth we get both one set of points for each treatment type but also a separate linear model in its own color for each treatment type so that's the basic idea behind multiple layers in ggplot after we've added one geome, we can add additional geomes 
to the plot. They will be plotted on the graph in the order in which they are included in our ggplot uh, pipeline here. And unless we change something, which we'll see how to do later, all of these layers will use both the data and the mapping from the main ggplot call.